Austin. I am 26 years old, currently live in Okinawa, Japan, and this is my 1994 Toyota Supra. Honestly, what, what isn't done to this car? I've uh, had it almost completely apart. Almost nothing is stock. Yeah, pretty much the transmission is the only thing that's stock in it. Maybe the drive shaft and the axles, but that, that's it. So I've had the car for almost exactly three years. Uh, in a couple of days, it'll be three years exactly. The stock transmissions of these things are really, really good. They're, they're really stout. I do plan on swapping it for it, either a sequential or a T56 Magnum. I've been in the cars my entire life. My grandfather, he was a, he's a mechanic, and he actually is the one that uh, got me into cars as well as motorcycles. So I've been around the car scene like my entire life. When I was 11 years old, I, I swapped the engine on my dirt bike by myself in the garage, and, and that's how I learned to. I learned about tools and stuff like that is, is, you know, helping him work on cars and, you know, going to his shop and, you know, being in that environment. I'll send him, I'll send him the link uh, once this comes out. Uh, he'll, he'll, he'll see this and I'm sure he'll appreciate it. It took me about a, about a year and a half to get it, started saving up money. Every dime that I could, you know, uh, you know, staying in my dorm room, playing video games, and that's it. I wouldn't spend my money on anything. And as soon as I got here, I ended up picking the car up from uh, Garage Defend up in Nagoya. I still, I have uh, footage of them actually taking the car off of their lot and uh, driving it to the truck and pulling it up on the truck, getting it ready for, for shipment. So I still, they sent me those videos when I bought the car. My overall buying experience, like the, the month that it took me to actually purchase the car, um, I, it was not great, unfortunately. Uh, you know, the communication wasn't, wasn't there. It was a lot of, you know, back and forth and, and stuff like that. Like, hey, you know, I'm really interested in purchasing this car and I get it. I'm sure they get a lot of people, you know, trying to purchase cars from them that aren't really serious. After I got the car, you know, all that stuff went out the window because right? the car was, was everything that I had dreamed of and then some. Original twin turbo six speed, so it's an RZ. It had the original or has the original OG rainbow wing. Not too many mods. Uh, the only mods that it had on it was a body kit and an air filter and that was it. The car was mechanically bone stock. It checked all the boxes. So when I got the car, it, it, was, it was insanely clean, no rust anywhere. Um, I, I couldn't have been happier once, once the car arrived. Did I feel like I overpaid for it? At the time, yes, but uh, that was three years ago. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think I, uh, I got a really good deal for you know bone stock um, uh, twin turbo six speed super with, with zero issues, so. I, I, I couldn't, have been, I couldn't have been happier. It's got a little bit of mods done to it, not, not many. <laughs> uh, people don't realize, but you can still buy brand new 2JZs. And so that's what this is, is a brand new uh, 2JZ engine. I still have the original engine. Um, it's still sitting in my apartment in the box that this motor came in. I built this motor in my apartment. I don't have a garage. I had to, I had to pull the motor in the parking lot of my apartment building, um, transmission and all. Just had, had a buddy come help me out. He also owns a super, shout out to Marshall. Pulled all the wiring, disconnected a bunch of hoses. Another friend of mine, Nismo Jefferson, uh, he came by, helped me pick this thing up out of the car. I pulled the transmission off, hooked it up to the engine stand, put it on my elevator of my apartment, brought it up to the second floor, pushed it off the elevator, and I brought it right into my apartment. So while it was apart, I decided to upgrade a few things. So I installed a Manly H-Tough uh, rods, ARP head studs and main studs. I also built the head. It has Ferrea valves, BC uh, valve springs and retainers, uh, and Kelford cams, and a uh, powerhouse racing oil pump. Unfortunately, there are no dynos here in Okinawa, so you can only guesstimate based off of you know fuel and boost and stuff like that, but I had a buddy uh, up in mainland makes 602 to the wheels uh, with this exact turbo and less boost and weaker cams. So my guess is m maybe 650 to the wheels, 600, 650. This is a Borg Warner S362 SXE. It has a 0.91 A over R rear housing, twin scroll, and I am making roughly 23 pounds of boost. HKS Hypermax GT4 coilovers. One of the first mods that I did to the car. The rear might be a little bit higher. I had to, I had to raise it up to 
install these fatty tires that I have on the rear. I have Advan uh, AO52, 295, 35, 18s, and in the front, those are uh, Valinos, uh, 235, 40. As far as grip goes, so I have, I absolutely have to warm these tires up. I can't just, you know, go from a dig and expect these things to grip because I will get a ton of wheel hop, uh, which is how I killed my diff. <clears throat> I have to burn these out pretty much. If I want to, if I want to launch the car from a dig, I have to do a burnout. Once they are warm, they grip. They are fantastic. These are Volk T37 uh, SLs. In the front, I have uh, 18 by 9.5 plus 22, and uh, in the rear, uh, 18 by 10.5 plus 22. So these are actually a Cadillac CTSV uh, brake calipers. They are Brembo six piston fronts, uh, four piston rears, and uh, Lexus ISF rotors. Yeah, um, I had them powder coated by uh, powder coating Okinawa. They were originally yellow, and uh, I had them powder coated lollipop red. Also, I have a, a, a Tomei exhaust, which is extremely loud uh, the way I like it. Catback, HKS three inch, a mid pipe, custom three inch down pipe, stock crankshaft, stock block, stock head, BPA manifold, uh, Freed Engineering from Iron Cooler. So for the ECU, uh, it's a uh, Haltech Elite 2500. It has the, uh, the wide band O2 sensor, uh, four port uh, mag valve, and uh, it's tuned by uh, Cody Hammond uh, at Ham Tuned. And <laughs> I, I haven't had any issues with the tune at all. This car runs flawlessly. I, um, I literally have not had a single issue out of anything with this car. The only thing that's not stock in here would probably be my key, uh, the, the floor mats and the shifter boot and the, you know, the e-brake boot, but that's it. The stock steering wheel, stock super cockpit, you know? I wanted to keep this, I wanted to keep the interior as original as possible. Um, which is why, you know, I, I didn't want to fill it up with a bunch of different gauges and stuff like that because I, I like the stock interior. So it's a OS Geekin twin plate. The diff is a uh, also OS Geekin 1.5 way LSD. People like to talk trash about Supras, about how they're they're not good at corners or anything like that. But man, once I once I threw the diff in there, this thing is this thing became, you know, a, a freaking go kart. I, I absolutely love it. Um, that was one of my favorite mods that I did was doing the diff. I love owning this car. It's been nothing but a blast. Even though I'm starting to hate working on it, it's everything that I have ever dreamed of and then some. I didn't think I was I was ever gonna own this car to be honest. So that's why, like, you know, when I got in the car, I was just, I'm super stoked. And, and to this day, whenever I see another Supra, I still spaz out. You know, I've, I've had this car for three years and I, I still, you know, get tickly whenever whenever I see another Supra. So I absolutely love this car. I, I have zero intentions of selling it. I wasn't expecting, you know, a 30 year old car to, be as you know as solidly built as this going from never having anything fast at all to you know now having a 300 horsepower sports car you know that's it's a big jump you know so uh even at the time like you know the car it still scared the mess out of me and it still scares me to this day i love going out to all the meets i love sharing this car with everybody because i don't want to keep it a secret you know i put too much time effort and money into this car you know to keep it a secret if anybody asks me anything about this car i'm more than happy to tell them about it so these are not stock side skirts these are uh bomex replica side skirts that i want to get rid of in favor of some Rydox uh, side skirts or perhaps OEM, JDM side skirts. Believe it or not, the, you know, these are the side skirts that were on the uh, the Fast and Furious uh, Supra. The side skirts and the spats. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the, the skirts. I love the spats, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love the spats, but the side skirts I'm not a huge fan of. I wasn't a huge fan of the original bumper that this car came with either. I went to the OEM bumper. Uh, other future plans include um, uh, maybe a bigger turbo. Uh, actually, I know I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna go to a bigger turbo. Full e E85. I said that I wanted 800 horsepower, and but now I'm, I'm. Now that I know how to build a build an engine, I built built the motor in this. I'm thinking more of like you know, above the four digit mark. You know, maybe uh, 11, 1200 horsepower. Um, <laughs> That's double what you have. Yeah, yeah. Double. It's already fast. Yeah. It's already scary. Yeah. And I, wow. yeah, I want, I want, I want to go, I want to go higher, because you do get used to power. Every every stage that I, that you know I've increased power on this car, it scared me over and over and over again. Um, and then I, you know, eventually I got used to it. Um, well, now I'm starting to get used to the get used to the power, so now I want more. I, I got, I definitely got bit by the super bug uh, for sure. You know, you gotta have a thousand horsepower. At <laughs>